If you just look at this account, you'll see that it has a lot of views and subscribers in just one week, thanks to this niche. Today, I will explain how to create videos like these. But before that, let's watch one of them. For example, let's check out this one with more than 14 million views. Now, in this video, we will learn how to create videos like these easily using free websites. Just follow this tutorial step by step, and you'll understand all the steps. So, let's get started. First, we go to ChatGPT. You copy this prompt and paste it into ChatGPT to ask it to write 10 short prompts where each country is personified as a powerful animal warrior. As you can see, it starts generating them. Once it's done, we move on to Leonardo AI as shown. Next, we go to the Generate Images section. Here, we select the Cinematic Kino preset. Then, we adjust the image dimensions to 9 by 16 and change the model to Leonardo Diffusion XL. After that, we go back to ChatGPT, copy each prompt, and paste it into the input box in Leonardo AI. Then, we click the Generate button and wait for the images to appear. Once the images are ready, we download the ones we want. You can repeat the same process with different prompts to create more images. Simply copy the prompts from ChatGPT, paste them into Leonardo AI, and click the Generate button. Now, after finishing with the images, we download the ones we want. Then we go to this site called Vidu AI. Once you sign up, this interface will appear. Next, click on the Create Video button at the top. Here, you upload the image you want to transform into a video. As you can see, you can upload the image, and below it, you can add a simple prompt. For example, you can add text like, Make this character walk. After that, click the Create button and wait a little while for the video to be ready. You can repeat this process with other images, just like before. To download the video, simply click the arrow symbol above the video. If you find that this site doesn't work easily, you can use the Runway ML site instead. This is the interface. Then choose the tool to create videos from images. Here, we upload our image and follow the same process. You can add a simple prompt, just like on the first site. After that, click the Create button and wait for the video to be ready. Using this same process, you can create all the videos you want and download them. Now, we need the music. You have two options for the background music depending on where you will post the video. If you're posting it on YouTube, you'll want to use a no copyright song, which you can easily find by using Pixabay. Search for the best song as you see and download it. 
But if you're posting the video on TikTok, it's better to use a trending song, which you can find here. Or you can simply download a video and extract the audio from it. Now we open the CapCut application. First, we add the song, as you can see. After that, we add the video we created with AI tools. The first video will serve as an intro, then we add the other videos, making sure to sync them with the rhythm of the music. After adding all the videos, we trim the song and delete any parts we won't use. Next, we add sound effects. Search for animal sounds that match the animals appearing in the video, like the eagle, bear, lion, tiger, etc. Once you find them, try to add them to the videos in a way that fits perfectly. Also, reduce the volume slightly and adjust the duration of the sounds for a better fit. After setting all the sound effects, adjust the video size to 916. Then, return to each video and zoom in slightly, as needed, to remove the watermark. Now we move on to transitions and add them. I prefer using the pull-in-out transition, as you can see. Next, we go to the Effects option and apply the vignette effect to each video, setting its opacity to 40%. We also add the camera shaker effect to every video, adjusting its range to 8 and the speed to 3%, as shown. Next, we add a text title at the beginning, adjusting the size, style, and font. For the font, we change it to the ZY Trend font. After that, we add a stroke effect to the text and adjust its opacity. Finally, we add an animation to the text, as you can see. Now we return to the start of the video and add text mentioning the countries. As you can see, we copy the country names from ChatGPT and place the text in the middle of each video. For each piece of text, we change the font, size, style, and color. We also add the fade in and fade out animations. To save time, I use a method where I create one text and copy it, then just edit the text for each country. Next, we go back to the audio options and search for a whoosh sound effect. We add it in the spots where we have transitions, as shown. And that's the result. So guys, see you in the next video. Love you all, bye bye.